Hi, I'm Dr. David Geyer, orthopedic surgeon and sports medicine specialist, and I provide information and education and commentary on injuries and injury prevention and injury treatments in sports and exercise for athletes and active people, probably much like yourself or maybe your family members, so that you can stay healthy and perform your best. One of the questions I get very often is, as an orthopedic surgeon in my practice is, do I really need an MRI? I mean, we know they're expensive and with health insurance, you know, deductibles really high or maybe, you know, your insurance only pays 50% and you pay the rest out of pocket. An MRI is a lot of money potentially and so we hopefully don't need to order those unless we absolutely have to have them. And so that's one of the questions many people have is, you know, do I really need one? And in today's Ask Dr. Geyer video, I discussed that very scenario, not so much from a financial sense, but in somebody that can't get an MRI, and that is for an ACL injury. Melissa writes, I came across your article on torn ACLs when I was trying to find out if you can tell that you have a torn ACL without an MRI. My boyfriend was in a motorcycle accident recently and is still recovering in a coma-like state. I'm worried he may have a torn ACL in his right leg since he had a compound fracture in both limbs. They couldn't do an MRI because of what they used to cut the blood supply on his spleen. I know from working in the animal field, we would put them under anesthetics and do a drawer sign. Is there any way to tell since he's unable to speak right now? Well, first of all, Melissa, I really hope that turns out well. It sounds like an awful story, but it's a terrific question. And the answer is yes, we absolutely can diagnose uh, an ACL tear without an MRI. First of all, an ACL uh, injury almost always has a classic mechanism of injury. Car wreck is not really the classic mechanism, even though it could happen. What we typically see uh, is an athlete that goes to land from a jump. It may be a soccer player, it may be a volleyball player, but she lands from a jump and feels her knee give way. She falls to the ground, uh, she's torn her ACL. Or it could be an athlete that's running straight ahead. It could be a football player or a soccer player. He or she plants uh, the foot to change direction feels a pop in the knee, you know, goes to the ground, knee swells up like crazy, he or she's torn uh, the ACL as well. So mechanism of injury, when an orthopedic surgeon hears that, certainly starts to worry, hey, this could be a torn ACL. Then you do a physical exam, and there's a number of physical exam tests that absolutely can de detect an ACL tear, especially if you catch uh, one of these injuries within the first hour or so uh, after they happen. That can be really, really uh, helpful. Now, once the knee starts to swell and get stiff, it can be a lot harder. So that's where sometimes an MRI can be very helpful. But if you can elicit some of these tests, there's a Lachman's test where you're basically pulling the tibia forward and looking to see if there's a firm endpoint. The ACL is a ligament in the center of the knee that stabilizes the, the knee against uh, being the tibia from being pulled forward. And so you can basically test the integrity of the ACL with that Lachman's test. Yes, there's an anterior drawer test like Melissa described where you're basically pulling the tibia forward. And there's what we call a pivot shift test where it's a little fancy to describe um, without being able to show you on a patient, but you can actually make the knee sort of give way uh, it basically shows you that the ACL is torn. But again, if the knee is swollen and stiff or the patient's really fighting, uh, guarding uh, what is what we call it when the muscles are really firing and don't relax enough to let us get a good exam, uh, yes, we can get an MRI and that definitely will show an ACL tear. Now, have you torn your ACL and did you get an MRI or did you skip uh, directly uh, to treatment of it if, uh, and not get an MRI? The last couple of ACL tears that I've done surgically, I didn't get an MRI first because I was able to very easily tell in the office that they had a torn ACL. But what did you decide to do? I'd love to hear your thoughts so, and your experiences. So below this video, leave your comments. I'd love to hear you know, how the experience went for you. And if you know somebody that may have suffered an ACL tear or has a bad knee injury, can't decide if he or she needs an MRI, please share this video with him or with her and maybe it can be uh, helpful so that they can make uh, the decision that's best for them. Now if you like videos like this and want more information on injuries and injury treatments and injury prevention in sports and exercise, subscribe to my video channel. I record a couple of these videos every single week and I'd love to deliver those directly to you. 
And finally, there's so many resources, you know, audio, video, written um, on ways to stay healthy and perform your best that I only share my, with my email list. So go to my website, drdavidgeyer.com, and enter your name and your email. I'll send those uh, to you on a regular basis. I think it's really great, completely free, so definitely check that out. Thank you so much for watching. If you have questions uh, that you'd like me to answer in a future, future Ask Dr. Geyer video, share those with me, and I look forward to seeing you right here next time.